all the viewers, especially the students, to the online class introduced by the State Council of Science, Technology and Environment, Mikhaya. I hope all of you will benefit from this class. Today, uh, I will be de delivering a lecture on arithmetic progression. Uh, let us begin the class. Before this, okay, so first, we'll start with the term sequence. Third term, fourth term. 
In this case, first term, second term, third term, and so on. Okay. So the first term. Second term, okay, and so on. They are denoted by a one, a two, and so on. Okay, which means this one is a one, okay, a two, a three, like that. Okay, so this is all about sequences. So let's solve from some problems regarding sequences. Okay, the first one. Uh, question number one. Write the first three terms of the sequence a n n plus two. Okay. So remember. Always start with one natural numbers one two three. Okay, since they say first three means only one two and three. Okay, so solution. Okay, so given sequence. Okay, is a n equal to n n plus two. Okay, then first one means a one. A one means in place of this n, we put one. Okay, so one, one plus two, so you get one, three. Okay, bracket means multiplication, so one into three means three equal to three. The next is a two, in place of n you put two. Okay, so two plus two, so two. Four, so two into four is eight. Okay. And the last one, since they say only three, so three, and then three plus two, so you get three five. So three fives are fifty. Okay. So therefore, the first three terms. Of the sequence are nothing but three a and fifty. Okay, so are three a fifty. The next one. Right. Uh, find the term a nine. In the sequence, the n equal to minus one to the power and minus one and cube. Okay, here we say find only a nine. Okay, no need to find a one, a two. Just find only the required term. Okay, so the solution is first we have to like for the given sequence. Okay. That is the first thing to do. Given sequence is this one: a n equal to minus one to the power n minus one and q. Okay. Then a nine. So therefore, a nine means here n it is nine. Okay. So in place of n, I'll put nine minus one. Then nine. Q. Okay, no, nine. Then minus one to the power nine minus one it is a. So this one will be seven to nine. Okay. So minus one to the power even number is always positive. Okay. So it be plus seven to nine. So which is seven to nine. So this is the answer. The next problem, okay, a very well known sequence, okay, a very well known sequence. Next problem, question number three. Find the first five terms, okay, of the sequence. Okay, A one equal. 
equal to 1 equal to a cube and then a n equal to a n minus 1 plus a n minus 2 this will apply only for n greater than equal to 3 means 3, 4, 5 so on okay so first 5 terms means a1, a2, a3, a4, a5 okay check first here a1 and a2 they have given so no need to find okay so again first write first the sequence okay so given sequences a1 equal to 1 equal to a2 and then a n back first this one then you have to find the terms right a1 okay it is 1 then a2 it is what given 1 then a3 how to find a3 you follow this rule okay so a in place of n you put 3 minus 1 this is subscript okay a 3 minus 2 so a 3 minus 1 is a 2 this one is a 1 okay so what is a 2 1 and then we have we get a 1 is also 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 okay so next is a 4 so a 4 minus 1 plus a 4 minus 2 so a 4 minus 1 is a 3 plus a 2 what is a 3? check it is 2 so 2 plus 1 it is 3 so next the last one is a 5 so a 5 minus 1 in place of n we put 5 5 minus so a4 plus a3. So what is a4? It is 3. What and what is a3? It is 2. So 3 plus 2 it is 5. Okay. So therefore the terms are what? 1, 1, 2, 3, 5. Okay. Now actually, okay, this sequence is a very well-known Fibonacci sequence, okay? Now this is a sequence found in nature as well as in music. Okay? Now, what is the sequence here? It's 1 plus 1, you'll get 2. 1 plus 2, you'll get 3. 2 plus 3, it is 5. Okay? Then after this, you know it is 3 plus 5 is 8. So, okay? So with this, okay, uh, it's about sequence. Next, I will do arithmetic progression. So, what is an arithmetic progression? Okay, it is a sequence of numbers. Okay, sequence of numbers in which each term they can be obtained by adding a fixed number to its preceding term. Okay, so let's write the definition. It is what? It is a Okay. 
here is that they follow this one, they add a fixed number to its oscillator. Now let's take a particular simple example. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, so on. Okay. Now forget, uh, forget the first term. Now check the second second term. Okay, 4. What is preceding term of 4? It is 2. Now 2 plus what you get 4? It is 2, right? So 2 plus 2 you get 4. Okay. Now next, okay, we have finished 4, so we'll go to 6. So what is the preceding term to 6? It is 4. So 4 plus what you get 6? It is again 2. Again this 8. What is preceding of this? It is 6, no? 6 plus 2. It is 2. So what is that fixed number here? It is 2. You add a fixed number to its preceding term. So this, this sequence of numbers, they are called what? Infinite. Because why? You add a fixed number, you will get the remaining terms. Except the first term. Okay? So this 2, okay, which should be... Um, which is the fixed number, we call it the common difference. Okay, and it is denoted by D. Okay, so here, common difference is what? D is actually D. Okay, so let's solve some problems regarding this AP. Okay, so which of the following? Sequence is an EP. Okay, the first one, okay, 2, 4, 8, 16, so on. Okay. Now it's very difficult, okay, because this one is simple, okay. So to solve this mathematically, okay, without instinct, okay, how to solve this? Now this is the second term, first term. So a2 minus a1, that is how you do, 4 minus 2, what do you get, 2, okay, then third with second, like that, a3 minus a2 means 8 minus 4, you get 4, as soon as they are different, you conclude that they, it is not an if you get same, okay, continue, if not same, then you can conclude, therefore, the difference, Is not same. Okay, in each case, so therefore, it is not an. It is not an. Okay. Now the next one. Next one is uh, three plus root five. 3 plus 2 root 5, 3 plus 3 root 5, okay, so on. Okay. Again, a2 minus a1, that is how you do, okay? So the first term is 3 plus 2 root 5, since there are two terms, okay? So you have to write bracket, okay? You have to simplify first. Then 3 plus root 5. Then 3 plus 2 root 5 minus into plus is minus 3 minus into plus is minus root 5. Plus 3 and minus 3 they cancel. So this one plus 2 and minus 1, okay, you'll get root 5. Okay. So next is a3 minus a2. Okay. Do this and this. Next, do this and this means a3 minus a2. So this one it is 3 plus 3 root 5 minus 3 plus 2 root 5. Okay, so 3 plus 3 root 5 minus 3 minus 2 root 5. This and this cancel, so you will get root 5. So in this case, the difference is the same. Okay, since there are no elements left given, so you stop there. Okay, if they have given, you proceed. And since they are the same, so you can conclude that it isn't. Okay, so since difference 
is same in each case. So therefore, the given sequence, okay? The given sequence is an AP. Uh, so the next problem, okay? So find the first term. Common difference and next three terms of the PP one by four, one by two, three by four, one. Okay, so in this case, they have already con uh, concluded that it is an EP. So no need to check whether it is an EP or not. Okay, so solution. Since they have given it is an EP, so we have to write no longer sequence again, okay? given EP. Okay, so given EP is 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 3 by 4, 1. Okay, now what is the first term? Always this first number. Okay. So first term, first term it is A1, right? For AP, we used to write just A. Okay. So A1, which is A for AP, is 1 by 4. Then common difference, common difference, D, it is, subtract this to this. Okay. So 1 by 2, Minus 1 by 4. You can subtract this to this also. It will be the same. So LCM of this it is 4. So 2 minus 1. Because 2 2 is a 4. So 1 2 is a 2. So you get 1 by 4. Okay. So this is the common difference. So finish first term. Common difference. Next three terms. Now how will you get the next three terms? Now what is the last here? It is 1. So... Therefore, the next three terms are this one, you have to add to this, okay. so R, so 1 plus 1 by 4, okay, this one, LCM is 4, 4 plus 1, it is 5 by 4, okay, so you have already obtained this one, 5 by 4. You have to find 3. So you have already find this one. So next one it is, take this one, okay? 5 by 4. 5 by 4 with what? Again with this D. Okay, so 1 by 4. So 5 plus 1 and then 4, which is 6 by 4, which is 3 by 4. The last one, take this one, you add to D. Okay, so 1 by 4, LCM is 4, so you get 6 plus 1, which is 7 by 4. So this is the answer. The next three terms are 5 by 4, 3 by 2, and 7 by 4. So uh, I'll end the class today. So next class, I'll do the remaining topics of AP. So thank you.